Well, it was weird watching someone else's rocket, I can say that for sure. But no, it was great to see it uh, go off successfully and um, you know, got a little bit of time yet before we had payload um, deployment. So, and then really, you know, the, the job, our job really begins once the spacecraft is on orbit and, and we start the commissioning phase and uh, start pulling down data for the rest of the, t the science team. So, the methane satellite is an incredibly exciting advance in our ability to fight climate change. This is about New Zealanders. So New Zealanders are going to be affected by climate change wherever it happens in the world. And this has the ability to have really major impacts on methane from oil and gas uh, production around the world. So New Zealanders are going to benefit from this way beyond what has been invested by New Zealand because of the potentially enormous impact as it gets scaled up. So an exciting thing from a specifically New Zealand point of view is that as we all know, a large part of our emissions are from agriculture, they're methane. And this satellite is almost certainly going to be able to measure those emissions. That's not so important for the emissions within New Zealand because we do quite a good job of measuring them already, but our competitors are going to face the same competition because they are going to have their emissions visible as well. You know, we had a, a really important mission just two, two launches ago where we put a spacecraft in orbit that is rendezvousing with an old rocket stage up in, in orbit to ultimately deorbit that um, and you know for space sustainability. So you know we've launched over 170 spacecraft to date and uh, a number of those spacecraft are focused on environmental and climate change missions so it's great to be able to support another one but in a slightly different way. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.